Hello and welcome to this unboxing of uh, my EM4 Miniatures Combat Zone game. It's a skirmish game called Combat Zone that I've been playing a couple of times. I actually got a lot of questions about this game from friends and other gamers online. Uh, how it compares to Warhammer and other skirmish games or stuff like that. Warhammer of course is not a skirmish game. I ordered uh, a playable set for my friend who also plays Combat Zone. Uh, <laughs> that is like two times a year when we meet. But uh, I ordered this set because it's the basic set on their webpage. And you can go to, uh, I think it's em4miniatures.com. Uh, I think I have it here on the box. I can zoom it in there. You see? EM4Miniatures.com Right there. And this option I have here now is uh, the start playing kit. I don't remember what it's called. I'll write it in the info what it's called. But this is the set that you buy a little bit cheaper than the box set. And you don't get as much miniatures and stuff like that. So I add it because this is my friend and he doesn't paint uh, as much as I do. I don't think he ever painted a miniature in his life. So I also ordered a couple of pre-painted miniatures they offer from EM4. I have been curious about them. I have no idea the quality of the painting of them. So let's see. It comes in this beautiful black package and a lot of bubble wrap. So it was no corners roughened up or anything like that. I actually dropped the package when I opened it so it has I bumped some corners. But this is the basic set. And this is the fun part. I didn't think it would come in a box when I ordered the playable thing because on the webpage it's only the set of rules and the dice and all you need to start playing uh, except the miniatures. So this is a, this was a big surprise that it actually came in a box with the Combat Zone box. So it's a basic thin box, it won't hold up very long, I have had mine for 3 or 4 years and it's pretty banged up, but for the price I'll write down the, the, uh, the actual prices in the info, I don't have it in my head, but this is a cheap hobby. This is something I ordered extra, so these miniatures do not come with the start playing, start play kit that they sell. I will get into these later, but I ordered uh, three sets of pre-painted miniature for my friend, so I don't have to paint them for him. And also, when I get down to him, we can just start playing. And this is actually what you get in the start playing kit they have pretty cheap on their website. So let's dive in. It's the core rule book, and it has everything you need to start playing it. It's, I've played maybe four or five times, uh, and it took some, some guesswork in the rules. It's not the most beautiful rule book, but it has everything you need to start playing. I've, I've found it a bit hard to get into the combat after playing stuff like uh, War Zone in the 90s and Warhammer that has different action system. So the combat rules is a lot different from anything I've played because it's so simplified. And it's so simplified because this is a time-saving game. You don't play this for four or five hours if you don't want to. You can build a small um, skirmish squad just play with four miniatures if you want to, or as my friend and I did last time, played with 15 miniatures and had like two, three hours of good old fun. So this is a rule book for a fast pace uh, skirmish game. So nothing with big armies and stuff like that. Of course you can you can big, build big squads and robots and, and have a gay old time bashing away for hours, but it's basically, if you hit something, 
and it penetrates the armor, it dies. And it, it sounds kind of boring when you hear it first, because I, I was used to things like body points and health points and stuff like that through other systems, but it actually makes, makes a lot of sense, because if you get shot in combat, it doesn't really matter if you die or not, because you're out of combat, and this is the rules in combat zone. If you get a hit, you're out of the game. There's some special rules about elite uh, figures or heroes and robots that can take more than one hit, but I won't go into that now. These are the markers. The blast markers and the, the panic markers and keep down. You get a lot of them. Uh, so and you'll use the keep down and opportunity to fire quite a lot. Uh, and I won't go too much into the rules. But it's enough to keep a healthy game going. And also everything in this box can be copied for personal use as I have read uh, both in the rule book and uh, sometimes it even says so on the stuff you get in the box. Like here is some uh, cardboard thick paper terrain you get to just start playing there directly. And it says permission to copy on it. So you can just go ahead and take these sheets and put them up and start playing like it's brick walls. It's not that fancy, but it'll, if you just learn the rules or if you're impatient in building your own terrain. And you get these uh, stands for it, so it's pretty basic. If you played a board game, you have done this before. Like that. And now we have something nice to shoot behind. It's enough for when you crack open a beer and want to play on a Friday night and don't have all day, all night. We played it over a couple of cigars and a couple of coffees and beers and I think we played two times in one evening and it was awesome. You learn the rule pretty fast when playing. And all the rules we had second guesses about, we, we usually came up with something that both of us agree with. And this is the good part about this game. You have a quick reference sheet that actually has all the important rules and also the weapons stats. And you get this in the um, sheep start playing fast kit as well. So this is the quick reference sheet and it's invaluable when you play we copied this one, so we had one each when we played. A little beginner's guide. Always nice to have. I think that actually I read this when I got the game a couple of years ago and just uh, dove right into the rules because this didn't say that much, but I think it's a uh, good beginner's guide to have once you read through the rule book. And here's the roster. Here comes the roster. Hey, hey, hey. And that's uh, basically what it is. Just use it to write down what you want on it. We don't use these because we actually needed more information on ours. We had uh, weapons and equipment isn't isn't sufficient on this one. So we actually did a, our own little document in the computer so we write everything down in our word processor and uses that one instead but it's a nice one if you just have to scribble your squads and of course it's permission to copy so there's no worries about uh, running out not today at least in the good old times when I played uh, I think it was Mutant Chronicles Warzone I had to go to school and copy the stuff like that, but you kids today, you have your iPhones and home computers and whatnot, so there's probably no worries about that. Here's the box. It's a nice box, actually. It's a, it's a bit retro. I think it's a bit late 80s, early 90s feel to it, and I love that crap, you know, with the whole action, dystropic, sci-fi future. I play it like uh, a mix between Mad Max and Blade Runner Future skirmish game and uh, it's basically that 
corporations and, and gangs fight over leftovers and computer networks and stuff like that. So I play it a bit retro because I am a bit retro. Or as I will be honest with you, I'm old. That's why I like it that way. So why not play like a scenario demolition man style or like Blade Runner. So this kit is cheap and it's fast to start playing. And actually they offer these pre-painted miniatures we are getting into now. And these pre-painted miniature, I saw them on the on the website and I was like, yeah, they don't look too shabby. I've seen worse. Let's have a, a look-see on these ones. Pre-painted, I can see the box first. I don't know anything about Tycoon Amat or Tikun Amut. I don't know what that is. Uh, probably the company that does this. But it says EM4 miniatures all over it, so it looks looks good. What you see is what you get. Pre-painted gaming miniatures. For role-playing, wargaming or collecting. Fully painted. Oh, it looks, this looks nice. Uh, I don't see anything about any special artist doing this, so I don't know who paints these. If you want to check them out more, here's some addresses and stuff. So let's have a check. You get some some dices as well, and the bases pop up. Uh, so this is some mercenaries. Basis, so they're an unslotted. Let's have a look see and see how they are. They're like toys from the 80s, a bit more more highlights than just boring pre-painted stuff in a toy shop. But I think from afar they're they're tabletop quality. I like it would look cool on the on the table, but I don't think I don't think uh, this will be anything that you take pride in, but man, it looks cool. It looks cool. Yeah. I would play with these. I would play with these. Grown man playing with pewter guns. You can make the noises. It's cool. I actually think this is uh, decent. It's actually as the pictures on the website showed, so I have no complaints about this. It's worth the money. And you get some D20s here as well. That's nice. I think I have like 200 <laughs> D20s, but oh, it's it comes with the purchase. I won't complain. You actually don't use D20s in these games, uh, so the, the ones you get, you get in the box as well. So these are the dices you will need in the game. And they all come with the box, so you don't have to own them in advance. So there we go. So here we have the Shekard Gang, I think they were called. And they sure have checkers on them, so they must be a checkered gang. I actually love this color scheme here, going the yellow and black and brown. Come on, focus. Oh, that's good. So here we have, there's not a lot of features in the face, it's just skin color and uh, one Maybe yeah, one highlight, maybe two. So no detailing, but it looks cool from afar. These are actually cool miniatures. I love I love the posters on these ones. Very high octane action movie, eighties, nineties style. I love it. It looks like he has a beard going here. I don't know if it's just a shadowing or, yeah. 
decent. A bit harsh on the shadows on the arms and stuff like that, but hey man, they have to make a buck and this sure is good enough for the buck I paid for it. don't have a lot of spare time so this is great for my friend to have when I come over and we'll put on a cup of coffee play a bit so this is this is good enough for for tabletop quality playing some skirmish game yeah I don't complain but of course, I would have painted them better. And then we have the mercenaries. I think, no, these were uh, some kind of military units. I don't remember what they were called, but it was the Shekard gang. It was the mercenaries and these are troopers of some kind, I think. So, yeah, basic army painting. A little bit thick and dabby, but they will do. There's nothing to complain about. You'll probably pay more to get some shitty Warhammer figures pre-painted by a 14-year-old kid in Bangladesh or something, but... These are cool tabletop quality minis. I don't have the prices and the order right here right now, so I'll put them in the info and you can see what you what you have to pay for this kit. But this is basically the start playing kit, which is the cheaper version of the box set. You get everything you need. The rules the dice except the miniatures so you can buy these pre-painted minis you get the rule books some basic cardboard cutouts terrain the dices you need on the web page it doesn't specify that you get a box, but I was lucky enough to get one, so that was fun. So I don't know if you get it when you order it. It was a nice surprise for me. But I'll write the costs of everything and more details in the info. Uh, probably going to do something more, a battle report or something about Combat Zone in the future. If you have any questions about the game, I'll suggest you contact em 4 miniatures Or you can write me in the comments or write me an email and I'll try to to talk more about it but I had don't have so I don't have so much experience with the game yet I'm getting there I'm painting miniatures and I have a whole bunch of them also check out Moonraker miniatures I think it's Moonraker miniatures or Moonraker minis I'll write that in info as well where you can buy all the miniatures from EM4 uh, even those who aren't available at em4miniatures.com uh, will be available at Moonraker Miniatures. But as I said before, this skirmish game, you only need a couple of figures to, to start. A couple of minutes and you're ready to go. Have fun out there. Bye.